hello everyone and welcome to another video now in today's video we're going to be talking about how to work with letterheads on your phone how to insert them how to type on them how to create full documents straight from your smartphone you don't need a pc so let's get into the video straight away Alright, so first things first, you need a letterhead, which is, you can see mine on the screen. But if you don't have any, you can simply go to Google Chrome or anywhere else and then search. There are plenty of them that are free online. So you go to the app itself, the uh, Microsoft Word app, and then there's a button, top right hand corner, you click on it. And then very important, make sure that you save this document to your device and then click on a blank document and it opens up the first thing i usually like to do whenever i'm creating a new document is to rename it it makes looking for it easier especially if you want to send it to someone or you want to transfer it so when you do that you click on edit and then you go to yeah home you click on home right there and then you click on the layout that's the how the device looks like so the first thing you want to look at is the size basically the default is letter but I really don't want to use that especially if I'm going to be printing it I prefer a4 so I click a4 right there so I'll go to the margins now the margins are important if you're going to be working with letterheads I customized it and I set it all to zero it's going to make your life much easier if you're able to customize it and set it for zero to customize margins is very easy just scroll all the way to the bottom and then customize margins and leave everything for zero so when you're done doing that you simply go back there click that button and then you go to insert so you scroll down and you look for picture so your letterhead should be in picture form so you click on photos there and these are the like recent photos i have my customized letterhead is oh there it is right there so i'm going to click on it there you have it so i just click done and it's going to appear on the screen in its full glorious beauty i love this one i made it on canva if you want one of these i can if you want a video on how to make a uh, simple letterheads on canva uh you can simply comment in the you know leave a comment and i'll get right to it so that's it you can see there this is my letterhead so what we're going to do next is simply click that button there bottom right and then you're going to click on insert so we're going to look for a text box and we're going to add it to the document it's very very easy just like put it on top of the document there it's very easy very simple so now that it's on top of the document this is where it's going to get a bit technical you're going to use your fingers to reduce the size of the document just simply pinch make it smaller so then you use your fingers again you're going to drag the text box all the way down and then use your fingers to resize it around the document use your own initiative but try to make sure that the text box is in the center make it as centralized as possible so which is what i'm doing there so when you finish doing that uh, you're going to want to edit the text inside uh, the text box itself so i mean it looks really small so i'm going to change the font size oh it's currently 11 as you can see so i'm going to change it to 16 i think yeah 16 is good so let's get rid of the text you see that has generic text Ooh, oopsie i seem to have gotten rid of the earlier adjustments i made to the uh, font size but that's okay it doesn't really matter you can always go back and reset it back to 16 which is very easy just click on that corner there and then you put it back for 16 so let me type the memo and um, this is basically a generic document i'm just typing whatever it is that you know come off from my head um so yeah notice of meeting internal memo this is to inform all staff members managers and administrators that there will be a general meeting with the board of directors and shareholders at the close of today's activities full stop so basically just me typing and 
So whenever you're creating a, a document like this, when, like I said, you first go and check the layout of the document, make sure it's in A4, then you customize the margins, you set it for zero, and then you go and you insert your letterhead, which should be in picture form. So when you've gotten that, you go back, you go back to insert and you put in a text box and you simply type out whatever it is that you would like to type if you want uh, to use my own uh, letter heading which i created for practice i'm going to leave a link to a post in the description so you can check that out it's going to take you to my blog and you can simply download the letterhead from there free of charge uh, because you know these days you have to be very careful with a lot of you know copyright infringement laws and all that so you, you know do not really want to be running around willy-nilly and you know, using uh, licensed or licensable uh, letterheads and all that. So that's it. That's my document right there. I think that's that's everything to it. I'm going to change the heading of this memo to red. You can simply do that from the front page there. You click on the A with the red letter, uh, with the red coloring on that. I beg your pardon. And boom you have gotten your letterhead so basically i'm going to be reading through to be checking for mistakes there are no mistakes here at least i don't see any so yeah those border lines you can simply get rid of them by clicking on the letterhead itself you basically click on the letterhead then you go to the bottom right corner you click on that button and then you're going to have to scroll all the way down to outline and then you're going to pick that outline you just pick the color white and that's simply going to get rid of those border lines that you see there you click on white and it's simple it's going to disappear as easy as that so that's our document right there and you know, looks professional looks decent you wouldn't even know that this was done on a smartphone so you can also play with some other stuff in there like um the fill there's something called fill if you click on the text box itself and then click on the bottom right corner and uh, there's something called fill that's the color inside which the text box on which you type in your text and then basically you can pick as many colors as you like you are sport for choice for as many colors as you want to pick just you know go with your heart's light but if you're good you're dealing with a professional document you really really want to leave it in white because that would look professional and look better so basically that's it you can click the button at the top right hand corner and then you can simply save it as pdf it's advisable to save your documents as pdf because if you start doing peer-to-peer -peer transfers documents can get scattered so you can choose to save it to your gmail you can choose to send it via telegram whatsapp zender whatever you choose to do you save it in pdf format and it's going to come out looking like this so that's it that's it for this video thank you for watching my name is jeffrey and see you in the next one bye